Hello everybody, my name is Namius, and welcome to the StarCraft 2 commentary. And this is a little bonus commentary. It's a 2v2. And I'm playing with the red pros with my, with my ally Eagles. No, I'm playing with the blue pros with my ally Eagles, who is the red Protoss. Lucky. Oh, we're getting the red. And my opponents are Slapia, or Slapy, as the teal Terran. And Taxi Cuckoo, Cow Cow, as the purple Zerg. And it's like Mean Eagles with identical timings on our first pylons. Oh, the Scanopede's gonna scout us. The Scanopede's gonna scout Eagles' first pylon. That could be dangerous. It's like Taxi was going to move out with his Overlord, but. Instead, he's going to position it there where it can see absolutely nothing and is somewhat vulnerable. And it's what they're going for. That's a very early sp spawning pool. A seven pool. Plus early gas. Don't know quite what he's going for here. Perhaps early roaches? He's even getting the gas, and Slap, I'm just going to call him Slap, is going for early gas and refinery, and barracks rather. And I'm going for gas, and so is Eagles. So perhaps not too early. But, let's have a look at all the supplies. Yeah, the Zerg is rather behind from that, having not actually got a second all over Lord Ed, and gone for a quick six Zerglings. So, seven pooling, it seems. Who are they going to go for, I wonder? Are they going to go for me or Eagles? I honestly can't remember. Because I'm this was game was a while ago, and I don't remember it too well. And they're going for Eagles, it seems. Can he stop it? Can the Scannerpede stop it? Come on, Scannerpede! Nope, it's running for its life. And they're going to run straight into his mineral line, and... Did pull his probes to kill him, but he sort of failed. He didn't pull his probes, and I don't think he attacked move break. I think he just uh, tried to run the top one. Of them. I have have got a zealot in. What was that? His? No, that's his zealot. No, no. It's going to kill quite a few, but it is just going to go down. I quite have enough resources for... He has a second Zealot, which he's finally going to send in. They're going to clean up the Zerglings. Is there any more incoming? Let's have a look at the production tab. Which isn't P. P is ports. Production is D. Yeah, that's why I keep making that mistake. He is getting out of Roach 1, but no Zerglings being made. And I did send in my Zealot to finish it off. Yes, Eagles has been pretty much decimated now. Scouting there with the Overlord or hiding it. Not sure. Morphing into a lair. Evo Chamber Roach One going up still. Most likely is going for a starport with an early factory. He's built virtually nothing. Whereas I'm getting out of one gate. We're searching Warp Gate now. So I'm a little late on my full gate strat, and Eagles is slowly rebuilding. I should give him a fusion of resources. Okay, never mind. I could support it, it seems. Two then just putting down four more gateways. So going five gate. Which, excuse me, you can't really support off one base. And full chrono boost, not chrono boosting out my warp gate tech, it seems. So, yes, right now I'm saying my opponents have got this game. Baneling nest going up. So, could be going for some kind of Baneling bust against the not really walled in couple of portals. Well, he was just walled in actually. They are in hold position as well, so, a decent wall off. Whereas me. Not so much, but I do have a bigger army than he does. 
getting his second gas now it seems and looking at the production tab two more zergons coming out the stalker coming out getting out the warp gate tech still burrow for that so it looks like Zer's going to go be going for some burrow roaches because roaches can move while borrowed which is effectively making them sort of like DTs but they have to unborrow to attack and we've quite a few larvae up there we're not doing anything with it seems and slaps got several SCVs he's not doing anything with there's rally points in them there okay he is going to be moving out with them it seems however I'm moving in with stalkers and I'm going to see the SCV transfer and he expanded that's what happened bad place to run them However, I am going to get to kill all those SCPs for quite a bit of damage. Oh, no, I'm just moving to the fourth dimension. Will he cancel it or will I kill it? He's dead. Zergen's coming in now. Zalek's coming to block him off. Baneling's coming in. Ouch, that really hurt the Zalek's. Roach is moving up, let's take the hits. Now I'm going to do a bit of micro with these stalkers. Not the greatest, as I left them behind. Scanopede there, you know, he's just scanning out, scanning out for his super attack. And looks like I'm gonna get away a bit scot free. But that was a lot of damage I just did. And we're, we're just moving in now, and just moving it seems. Okay, he's microing them now, borrowing them again. Doesn't want to lose the roaches, it seems, and it doesn't look like he has movement on them either yet. Bringing in even more stalkers, and whoa, I have a lot of resources saved up. A bit concerning a micro, it seems. Not blink stalkers, however, and I do have some zealots also primed. Click on the losses tab. And I am almost as high on losses as eagles, but I have pretty much. Slapped, slapped his economy, and I'm moving into the main now. The Zerg who's getting a second hatchery off just inside his own base. Taking that down. Ouch. Which is coming down, which is dead. He has a lot of speed, and I am trapped in here. But I'm gonna go for straight for his mineral line and try to keep him where it hurts in the economy. One shot in the he did borrow them, and then unborrow them again. Couple more kills it seems, but... Ouch, should I take quite a hit there. But I'm roughly equal with how much they've lost in total. But, ow, that was rather painful. It's expanding once again. And I am once again singing in another army. I haven't done too much damage. Has Eagles caught up yet? He has quite an economy fledgling here. Getting out warp gates and two gates. Doesn't actually have that much up yet. Let's take a look at the income. He's actually the highest on income. Interesting. Looks like I'm moving in again with another Stalker and Zealot army. I'm moving in with now. Might be a bit because Zarts are gonna kill those Marines and surround the Vikings. They take the Vikings down so I can spawn them into land if they can get it. Look like it. Take out the Terran army. And then we straight into his mineral line. Kill some SCVs. Wow, man, it's gonna lift off loading SCVs. Fly through his command center. Richard, all of this is putting, putting in very much behind in terms of being lost. And the taxi bringing his roaches now. Might bring them rather well, very once. He does have movement now on them. He 
going to be very nasty with that harassing skins. Burning down the finery there. Placing my zealots directly on top of them, but they can move, so I'm moving. Killing one, killing two. Didn't quite manage to kill the third. Doesn't matter too much. Is harassing with them though, but Slap's lost virtually everything, so now we're facing down to 1v1. And I am moving, making a move on him. Eagles is sent out his army and waited for me, where he is blocking the ramp. Bailing bust. Bailing's not going down. I'm trying to expand, well, I'm to say actually. It's going to go down again. Combine Stork and Zelda on you, and you're going to take out those roaches. Now the Queen going down as well. But yeah, he actually managed to pull back from the seven Yeah, that'll teach you to rush my plan. No one messes with the But I completely forgot I meant to be referring to as backhoe. Because he does, in fact, have the white tiger. Picture as his um, profile picture. As you can see, Taxi's face is pretty much gone as well. Like slap the face in this now, but then I'm just going to inspire a bunch of buildings. And that's me saying, have a look there, see if slaps move there. And guess what? He has done precisely that. Also here as well, it seems. Taking the high view. Which he's loading up into and is he going to go there? And taking out this command center until I get it down in time. Apparently he doesn't want to go to the high yield after all. Apparently he wants to go here. Okay, and it's on burning. It's down. So that command, command center down. These zealots are no longer necessary. They're on a flying command center. They were necessary regardless. And mean eagles are now just looking around and hunting for our fleeing opponents. And he's just hiding his command center. I don't know. Maybe he thinks we'll get bored and leave. Or oh, he's just trying to be an asshole. By the way, and Eagles is going to spot the Overlord, and Slap's going to build a supply depot there, and a second one, and a third one, and a fourth one, and a fifth one. Right. I got no idea what the hell he's doing. And Eagles has Colossi out now. And then we're going to deal with these two Vikings. Which could have been a lot more effective if they'd leaked it off, but no. Eagles going to see you got nothing there, but is he going to look? Is he going to see? Looks like he is. Yep. He's seen the command center and the. Um. White pose. And he's only now GGing with my units there doing nothing. But he's also lifting off. Yay. Anyway, I'm just gonna speed up the rest because what it is not doing. Because all it is is this guy flying around doing them. And I've got in quite a few more stalkers to warm him in. Speed up even further. Flying around now. Gonna land, it's not mining there, but Zalad's going to get that out and now we have to place that. There's no need to say BRB. And now it's going to shot down or burn down. Shot. So yes, yeah, GG guys, hope you liked it apart from the boring end, and I'll see you in the next one.